Good morning everyone from the White Mountains here in New Hampshire. Today's adventure takes us to Storyland. As you see the mountains in the distance. This is a, uh, an interesting amusement park here. I'm gonna check it out. They got a gravity proof roller coaster called Rorosaurus. Gonna ride that and see what looks to be like an adorable little park. As soon as you get into Storyland, you're greeted with this awesome totem pole featuring like fairy tale characters in this uh, little like villagey area. Here's the park's main attraction and its best ride, and that is the Aurorosaurus. The uh, 2014 Gravity Group dinosaur themed roller coaster. It's interesting because it's really hard to get a good picture of it because it's uh, it's kind of in the back of the park in a corner. But the ride, it, it's a fantastic little ride. Uh, it, does, it looks like, oh, this won't be that exciting. But like there's airtime on like every single day. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful time, so I highly recommend this. Um, this was the, the big reason I wanted to come to this park was to ride Rorosaurus and uh, lift up the hype. I, as a coaster guy, I loved it. Another shot here of Rorosaurus to give you like a scale of the ride kind of thing. Again, not a very big ride, just goes from here over to there and back a couple times. There is a tunnel, and that's uh, pretty fun. Again, wonderful ride, lots of air time. Doesn't look like much, but uh, packs a big punch. So we're here in the station for Roller Source, and I love this sign. They keep a tally of the items lost on the ride. So far in 2017, they lost 30 cell phones, 23 sets of keys, 9 wallets, and 57 missing. Roller Coaster? Check this thing out. And here comes the Polar Coaster, which is one of the, the tamer roller coasters I've ever seen. It's also got one of the most adorable cars I've ever seen. Again, you know, it's a family-friendly park with a very family-friendly roller coaster. Whereas, uh, you know, River Source is uh, more intense. This is much more for the little ones. It's got a cool, like, cue. You have to turn igloo. It does run two trains on my Forest Source, so it lines go do move a little bit quicker on this one here. And uh, the finale's over a lake. Look at that train. It's a walrus. This is an awesome flat ride. This is Cuckoo Clock and Spiel, which essentially takes you inside a cuckoo clock. Complete all sorts of moving parts, a little animatronic man. Like what a what a really cool ride. The clock does come alive and little guys come out at different points. It's um beautiful. Like this is a, an awesome, awesome, fantastic flat. Oh there it goes. Wonderful. This is so neat. Love this ride. Splash Battle Flowers Rain is the park's Splash Battle attraction. It's uh, ancient Egypt theme and it's fairly adorable. Uh, one of the smaller Splash Battles I've seen, both in size of the boats as well as uh, scale of the ride. It's a pretty simple triangle type thing. And the boats are all on one side there. So uh, it's definitely a smaller one. If you look, the boats kind of an interesting uh, way they're arranged too. But fun times. Here's one I don't think I've seen in any other theme park. They have a tractor ride like antique cars and it's uh, it's adorable. You go through a barn, you go past mushrooms, an awkward little man takes your picture, you go past a thing of whole grains. It is adorable. You have a corn that open in and out of the pet things as you go past. Truly an adorable ride. Great for kids, great for Storyland and something that's rather unique. And there's that guy. So we're here at Bamboo Shoots, which is the park's log flume. A nice very, maybe about a 20 foot drop. And a little splash down. It's actually a really cute, adorable log flume. And it's really in its own corner of the park, built onto a hill. I do like some of the theming elements here on the, uh, the park's log flume ride, like the, the dragon guy, and the, the boats are fantastic. So right near the log flume is this little like uh, display where these bamboo reeds, they sing songs. Over here is Turtle Twirl, which is the park's tilt world attraction, and it's adorable. But your standard tilt world just in really fun ca cars. And again, something here that where it would be good to get a kick like a family photo or something like that in one of the cars. 
This is Dr. Geyser's remarkable river raft ride, and it's a, a pretty fantastic little kid, uh, family friendly raft ride. You go through like a rain machine, all sorts of stuff. There's a, a band over here that squirts you with water. It's a really, really adorable little raft ride. I, it doesn't look like you probably get too, too wet, and it's really cute. Big thumbs up. I'm always impressed when smaller parks have a raft ride. Here you can see the park's antique car ride. A little on the basic side, you've got a, it's, nobody's on it right now, but you can see the cars over there. Funny enough, I guess they're in the same family of parts as Lake Compounds, which we're filming this on Thursday, we'll be at Lake Compounds on Saturday. Time to check out the Slipshod Safari, which leaves every five minutes, if they're not eaten. And the ride vehicle's awesome, it's like a tractor pull train with a monkey cage for kids. Bye. No. What the black and white? So the next section of the park seems to be a medieval castle-y fairy tale castle section of the park. Up at the top of the hill is Cinderella's castle. A little different than the one we have here at Walt Disney World, but inside you can meet Cinderella, which is really a, kind of a pretty meet and greet area. But coming around the corner is Molly's favorite thing, I think, in the entire park. It's the most adorable. And this is the pumpkin that takes you up to Cinderella's carriage. It's um, <laughs> very cool, very unique. Again, uh, kudos to Storyline, because it's the only place I've ever seen something like this. Uh, obviously not real horses, but that's a uh, cool, very, very fairy tale esque and kind of what you would want in a uh, traditional story time park. In case you were curious what the inside of the pumpkin looked like, we're, uh, we're now in the pumpkin. Uh, fun fact, there's a lot shorter of a line at the top of the castle to come back than to go off. It is a one-way trip. <laughs> I mean, a pumpkin. So on the back right-hand side of the park, the park's home to a large waterway, which much like Disneyland out in California, they have multiple uh, kind of uh, attractions that take you on a gentle voyage past there. There is the uh, big giant swan boat, and then there is a pirate ship over here. The pirate ship's really cute because it's got like fake paddles, so it'll look like the kids are paddling the ship. And then the swan boat's pretty, so it's uh, two unique gentle rides here. The park's carousel is very, very different as the horses do not hang from the ceiling. You could uh, rock them back and forth yourself, which is uh, interesting. Uh, very interesting, very different. Not one you see uh, anywhere. I don't remember any seeing a carousel like this. Here's the park's swan boats, which while they, they might look like they're pedal boats, they're actually not pedal boats. And I love sort of how you, you dock. You sort of, you come and <laughs> you park your swan in a little stall whenever you're done. Guys, this, this is another thing that I think would qualify as my favorites. This next section of the park is all about a child's visit to other lands. So it's about a whole bunch of children from all over the world singing a song about living in different parts of the world. Totally creative idea here. Never, never seen anything like this. Over here is the Spanish themed section of the park, home to some restaurants and things like that. Uh, the attraction over here is Los Bravos Mining Company, which is a walkthrough guided tour featuring all sorts of the uh, classic theme park tricks like the spinning tunnel, the gravity house where things roll uphill, uh, the fake elevator, all sorts of stuff. It's, it's, uh, it's okay. It's very outdated uh, for modern standards. And it's weird because I remember coming here as a kid, that was like one of my favorite things to do at this park. Now it's like, oh, that's a bit silly, but maybe the kids enjoy it. I do love the old-timey lion's mouth water fountain. Another great piece of theming elements here. I love this clock. Very, very pretty. Right next to the flying carpet sandwich oasis. Probably the prettiest looking of any of the restaurants here. Parks home to a Dumbo-style spinning attraction themed to Dutch shoes. Inside the Big White Dome is the Loopy Lab, which is one of those big foam ball factories where you just shoot and play with foam balls. Really fun for kids. And on the other side is the Great Balloon Chase, a Ferris wheel type attraction. Pretty looking ride. 
In the very back of the park is their indoor theater, home to Farm Follies, a musical garden show. And it's exactly what you hope it would be, you know, a show very much in the vein of Country Bear Jamboree or Chuck E. Cheese, things like that. Here's a clip and it's, it's fantastic. Flying scooters attraction here. And dinosaurs. Gotta love animatronic dinosaurs. Love this. Dinosaur themed benches. Awesome. Spinning around over there in the air is the Crazy Barn. One of those rides that's uh, more fun to look at than it is to ride. But it, it's quite the hoot to see just whirling around the air. So here in the, the more fairy tale section of the park, there's a ton of stuff like this with Humpty Dumpty, and then you go and press the button, and it'll play a song or tell you a story, something like that. And it's also a double as a photo op. So here we are at the old woman in the shoe, and guys, this might be the best thing I've seen at Storyline. There's an actual old woman in there, like a face character. Giving out stickers. Giving out stickers. This is fabulous. Sure is nice to see you in this house. It's a house. talking tree. There are so many things you need to see and do here. And then you get to help fill really your branches by writing your name in chalk. And that's why I'm here. So of course, along with some others who can help you to right have a full day of fun. So here's the uh, the three bears house, which is something you get to walk into, <laughs> which is um. Pretty fantastic. Another one of these press button things, so we'll do that. Well, boys and girls, the three bears are home right now. They want And then you, there's like little tiny stairs. I guess we have to go up these tiny stairs. And these are very tiny stairs. Oh, that's exactly what you would think would be upstairs. It's the beds. And you could lay down in them if you wanted to. Mama Bear is quite small. Mm -hmm. But it's weird, Mama Bear's mattress doesn't fit her bed. And then you go out a random door in the roof and you're done. So I think this is really considerate. Obviously, uh, if, if you're in a wheelchair or something like that, you really can't go up the stairs or go into the house. But they have a you know, picture that tells you what's in there, as well as a uh, button that will tell you the same story you hear inside. I think it's really cool what Storyline does that. We got a fabulous treehouse kind of thing over here, but I gotta go check this out. It's a talking tree with a mustache. What's he doing? The tree talking to you. Have you ever met a talking tree before? Well, if you have, it must have been my grandson Timothy over there. My work. Your velvet cloak. Oh, grandmother, look at ears you I'm not sure if this is the cool or terrifying. My dear. Grandmother, what big eyes you have! The better to see you with, my dear! What big hands you have, Grandmother! The better to hold you, my dear! But Grand Schoolhouse? It's like a weird looking teacher in there. Let me do a quick. So, Little Dreamers, I guess, all sorts of adorable photo ops and activities for small children. Very, very cute. I guess a lot of it's themed to this nursery rhyme. And you have to buckle the shoes. How cute. There's a giant pumpkin you could go into. Here we go. <laughs> and there's a there's a house inside. Park's home to a teacup ride. I love the uh, theming elements. So this actually is a really cute section of the park. It's like a an animal kind of small animal zoo for like domesticated animals but they're all themed to like the the fairy tale creatures so that was chicken little over there over here you have blah blah black sheep and that kind of thing there's also a lot of the, the voice boxes too that'll play their their nursery rhymes and then over here's peter rabbit so uh very cute i i don't blame peter rabbit for hanging out in his bunny house and not being out there getting 
annoyed by kids. It's it's the three little pigs, you get it? House of hay, house of sticks, house of bricks. And there, there's three of them, there's two over here, and there's one more guy over there. It's the, the three little pigs. I love that they have a goodbye show featuring your animatronic friends from various things. Like most of these are from the uh, the show, and then you have Henrietta the chicken from the. Uh... Look at this, this is so adorable. Look at look at the broccoli. And that's it, that's all from Storyland, as we're all done with the park. I think it's really adorable. We were here for about three hours. We are not in the Target demo at all. As two adults with no kids, there's another clock that talks to you. Look at that. <laughs> I got distracted. Okay, I'll stop getting distracted. All right, so um, back to the review of Rorosaurus, awesome. If you're a roller coaster fan like, like I am, Rorosaurus is awesome. Uh, you know, it's kind of tough to say, like, do you want to come here if you're just a coaster person to ride Rorosaurus because it does cost you about $33 to get into, and uh, it's kind of awkward if you don't have kids because it really is uh, Storyland Park. It's not, you know, Adult Land Park. It'd be weird what an Adult Land Park would be like. Um, yeah, like Pleasure Island. Um, so I enjoyed it. Um, I think it's cute. I love theming. I love AAs. So this is kind of a place that I would enjoy. I'd recommend it. I, I think it's neat. If you got kids, I would say zero to ten. Molly, you say like two to seven. I said two to seven. But uh, to me, this is a wonderful place. If you have kids, it's really a very wonderful Wonderland type place. Guys, if you have any questions about Storyland, let me know in the comments section below. I'll do my best to get back to you. And thank you for watching. And we need to go exit through Yum Yum Junction.